What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another iOS 12 jailbreak update video. I just want to touch base on where we're at with the jailbreak, where we're going, where we stand, all the information I have just so you guys know exactly what's going on and you're fully up to date with this jailbreak. So if you guys have been living under a rock, yes, there is an iOS 12 jailbreak and it is a full-fledged jailbreak, but it's only compatible with certain devices as of the making of this video. The devices that it works on, like I said, as of the making of this video, are the iPhone 6s through the iPhone 10. Anything and everything in between is jailbreakable. Like I said, if you have a 7 or a 7 Plus, you can jailbreak that. If you got an 8 or an 8 Plus, you can jailbreak that. The 6s Plus, you can jailbreak that. Like I said, it is pretty much A9 through A11 devices. The older devices, the 5S and the 6, you can jailbreak those devices, but as of right now, Cydia and Substrate are not up to date, so you can jailbreak it, but you will not have Cydia and you will not be able to install packages or anything like that with the older devices. For the older devices, we're pretty much waiting on Sorik to update and fix a bug within Substrate once that's fixed, Pwn to Own will push the jailbreak out for the older devices and it will be compatible. We're literally just waiting on Sorik. Now, as far as the newer A12 devices, uh, that is a bug uh, for Substrate that Sorik has to fix as well, but there's a lot more work that needs to go into the A12 devices. And luckily, Pwn to Own has begun work on those. So that is incredibly exciting. He pretty much has everything done. He's just working on the newer devices, the 10s, the 10s Max, and the 10R. So hopefully it doesn't take him too long and we'll see a jailbreak for all of devices that can run iOS 12 and that is super exciting. Uh, but anyways, if you guys are on a newer firmware like 12.1.3, 12.1.4 or even the 12.2 betas, you can still downgrade, you can still restore to a lower firmware that's jailbreakable and that is iOS 12.1.1 beta 3. As of the making of this video, it is still being signed by Apple which is absolutely crazy. So like I said, you can downgrade to a jailbreakable firmware right now and you can jailbreak your device as long as you're on the compatible devices for the iOS 12 jailbreak. Uh, I did do a downgrade slash restore video for 12.1.1 beta 3. Video link for that is down in the description as well. But uh, moving along here, we're gonna go ahead and jump into Twitter here and we are on Pwn to Owns Twitter. Let me go ahead and uh, back out here we'll go to his first page it's it's been pretty exciting how he uh, updates his name depending on whatever he's working on with the jailbreak so as you can see his name has been updated again it says Pona own is forging pacs on a12 so he's working on a12 like i mentioned uh, and if we go into his tweets here and we scroll down just a bit here let's see if i can't find the important ones that i wanted to show you guys all right, so here's the first one. Uh, it's basically the newest version of Uncover. Version 3.0.0 beta 38 uh, was released to fix the Vintex exploit and more. Uh, the Vintex exploit is what is used in the older um, iPhone 5S and the iPhone 6 devices. Uh, so that has been more updated um, and also other bug fixes and stuff like that. So that's the current newest version of the Uncover jailbreak. Uh, keep in mind guys this is still in beta this is still not the official release of uncover for ios 12 this is still beta so if you guys are running this jailbreak just keep in mind you're running a beta jailbreak this isn't even an official version which is pretty crazy because it's a very stable uh jailbreak from at least all my testing um but here going up a little bit more <clears throat> here's another important tweet uh he replied to a guy here uh asking progress on 4k devices and as you can see, he replied, waiting for Surik to fix the bug. He is busy, but you should wait for him. So, uh, like I said, Pona Own is, is done with everything he can do from his end for the older devices, just waiting on Surik. Uh, another important tweak here, or a tweet here is this one. And uh, a guy was asking him about, let's see, where is it right here? Uh, that bug is present only in 4K or in any other devices as well. So this is the bug that we're waiting for Sorik to fix. As you can see, he says A7, A8, and A12. Although A12 needs additional work too for the PAC. 
and that is what he's working on right now as you guys seen with the name of his uh uh, Twitter right now so he is working on it guys the a12 devices are being worked on which is super exciting we also just have to wait for Sork to push out a couple of updates and a couple of bug fixes and once that all falls into place we should be good to go for the a12 devices and the older devices uh, like I said as soon as that happens I'll keep you guys fully up to date here on the channel so if you guys aren't subscribed, I would highly recommend to be if you guys want to stay up to date on the iOS 12 jailbreak. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That really helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.